Climate change advocate Latin Andrihin has been working closely with SPCGIZ to conduct these studies and awareness programs. One only has to walk along the shorelines of Kuyawa Island and Munuwata Island atolls to see the effects of climate change. Although islanders have taken it upon themselves to protect their shorelines by building stone walls barricaded only by fishing nets, Andrihan said they are unaware that deep-rooted customs like the infamous yam planting season is a culprit. During this season, there is a mass harvest of mangrove trees. Their branches apparently are the most resilient to weathering on the island, so they are used to support the crawling yam plant. As a result, the population on the island itself is fast becoming a problem with the receding shorelines. Mangroves are a natural barrier against the tides. Islanders have identified poor academic performance of their children on the island as a driving factor. They believe that if their children had access to better education facilities, the chances of them passing out into tertiary institutions will reduce the number of people left to depend on the island. Survival itself is a daily struggle for islanders whose only source of water are shallow wells, the largest catchments being water tanks only provided in building facilities such as schools. The SPC GIZ Technical Working Group, therefore, is looking to help salvage what's left of their island's food and water security by first introducing additional crops so they don't completely destroy their mangrove population. Melissa Gaviro, National MTV News.